All right, welcome to another Wish Wednesday. This Wish Wednesday, we're gonna be doing another thing that I did, uh, another product that I got from Amazon, and the Amazon version was really bad, so then I found uh, the same thing, but on Wish, we're gonna see if it's any better. This time, it is the uh, drill chainsaw. I didn't realize how many pieces this thing comes in. Oh, this chain actually looks... I don't think the Amazon version of this came with uh, a chain in a bag like this. I feel like this is already a little bit better. I feel like this is not enough hardware. That's got to go there. No, I already messed up. Oh... That goes there, and this goes here. That chain actually does look... Oh man, maybe... Oh no, it's like, tangled up weird. Hmm. Now it's time to make sure we put the chain on the, the correct way. And I don't know much about chainsaws, so I don't really know which way that is. So I'm, if I spin to the right, it spins this, that way, which is going to rotate the chain this way. Which means that I think... chain goes on this way. I think we have a problem. How's that supposed to fit on there? Uh, this, this this might be the exact same kit that was on the Amazon one. So if I, if I remember right, I had to take this washer and put it on that one too. Oh, well, actually never mind. I mean, the box is big enough for it. Just send it assembled. What's like, what's the big deal? There we go. All right, I think that's, I think that's good. This I assume is the handle, or where the handle goes. Oh no, wait a minute, the handle goes here. Well, why is there a thing on top and on bottom then? I guess maybe you have three handle positions. Test run. Okay. Full speed. This ain't gonna last long. Chain's already loose. Let's see if we can cut through just a very simple three quarter, I think. Yeah, three quarter dowel rod. All right. I have very low hopes for this. Even though this dowel rod is very soft. There's no way. I mean, I think I have the chain on the right way. Let me go backwards. Yeah, I definitely have the chain on the right way. I mean, it cuts it, but man, that is slow. Let's go to a 2x4. And I think, uh, if I had to guess, I think a 2x4 is uh, where this thing dies. It literally... Oh, maybe it's just loose. I was going to say, whenever I was sitting it down, I was looking at it, and it looked like the bar was already bent. But maybe that thing's just a little bit loose. Oh, imagine that. Alright. That's a little better. So, if I had to place my bet, I'd say this is probably the end. I do not like this thing at all. This <laughs> this thing is feels just very dangerous. Oh, look at that. The bearing is like already trying to fall off of it. Oh. 
All right, what's broken? Oh, that's nice. Looks like the plastic for the tensioner screw is what is broken. So let's dig into this, see, uh, see what's going wrong. Okay. I feel like the bearing is about to come out of here. So that's not, not very nice. Yeah. The tension screw is too small for this opening to keep tension on the bar. So unless you do something to modify that, you can't keep tension on the bar. And I don't think that I have like a washer or anything small enough for this, but I will look around. Unfortunately, I looked around and tried to find uh, if I had like any little washers or anything that could fit on this little screw. And unfortunately I do not. So we're kind of dead in the water. Um, and that kind of sucks because like if they would have just made this channel a little bit smaller, I'm not saying it would have worked for very much longer, but it would have been, it would have worked better than what we have. Um, although we did get our answer, which was, you know, is this thing, is this thing good or is this thing not good? This thing sucks. So let's forget about this. Let's just pretend like this never happened and uh, say that it held the bar in place and everything's fine. This shaft, on this, or this bearing that holds this shaft in, being this loose after less than, I don't know, I don't know what that was, less than two minutes of total use, uh, this thing is just dying to separate from this case and just bust open. So if that didn't fail, this was probably gonna be our next failure point. So that, uh, so maybe you would get like five minutes maybe of total use out of this thing before it breaks, which gives us our answer and tells us that this thing is absolutely trash, which is pretty much what you expect from Wish. So, even though it wasn't very long, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.